Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church in McGuanagall for Thursday, January 26th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God, O Lord, come quickly to help me. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. The glory of Christ is revealed. Let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. This week we've been working through the document that was included in our Extraordinary Campaign materials, the document um, entitled Five Ps to Your Guide or to Guide Your Commitment decision. Um, we've talked about prayer. We've talked about that this is a personal decision. We talked about this is a proportionate um, consideration for us, not just for a, something uh, for a campaign, but any of our giving is proportionate to what the Lord has blessed us with. Uh, the fourth P that we uh, consider today is that which is pleasing. St. Paul writes as he concludes um, a short letter to the Philippian Christians, the believer's gifts are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Um, first of all, Philippians is known as Paul's joy epistle, his joy letter, um, especially striking when you consider that it was written um, from the depths of a prison. And yet, um, when we consider Paul's joyful attitude for the gospel um, and from the gospel, when he says that our gifts are fragrant, acceptable, and pleasing, we need to think about why that is. How can anything that sinful hands offer be fragrant, fragrant, acceptable, and pleasing? How can anything that we give to him from the storehouse of what he's blessed us with be acceptable. Um, I'm confident that my gifts are acceptable to him because I am acceptable to him. And I'm confident that I am acceptable to him only through the blood of Jesus. And so a little prayer that I've learned to pray at the end of each day is, Bleed on me, Jesus. Bleed on me and all that I have done today, whether I think it to be good or wrong. It all needs the cleansing blood of Jesus. And so also our sacrificial gifts. And then the joy to know that what we do give to him, it is pleasing to him because we are pleasing to him. Because Christ, the ultimate sacrifice, is pleasing to him. He is the atoning sacrifice, not just for our sins, but also, we're told, for the sins of the whole world. Do you hear it? Do you hear the, re the removal of uh, the burden? Do you hear uh, why this is not about trying to please him? Why it's not even a worry about pleasing one another, but we've actually been set free in Christ not to not to worry about how we please one another, but we've been set free in Christ to be servants of one another. And these gifts that I bring, these gifts that you bring, they're acceptable because you're acceptable and you get to think about them in a new way. Not that which is pleasing to my neighbor, not that which my neighbor smiles upon, 
but that which is pleasing to him and to see what benefit um, what benefit others derive from those gifts. How can my gift for gospel ministry be a benefit to others? How can my gift for the poor be a benefit for others? How can me taking care of my family be a benefit for others? Paul continues, My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. You can't outgive him. And your needs are safe and secure in him. He's taught you to pray for daily bread and then some. He's taught you to look for him, to him, to satisfy not just your needs, but the needs of every living thing. This is about Christ. And this is about your your safety and security and freedom in Christ. It's about your confidence that your needs are met in Christ. That filled um, St. Paul with joy. It fills us with joy this very day as we consider what is really and truly pleasing in Christ it is. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your servants with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us pure hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you sent your Son to proclaim your kingdom, and to teach with authority. Anoint us with the power of your Spirit, that we too may bring good news to the afflicted, bind up the brokenhearted, and proclaim liberty to the captive. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Set us free, O Lord, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.